Hello there, it's Michael and it's vlog number. It's day five of the readathon, of the autumn readathon. And I just got home from work, so now I'm about to eat and then try to read. I, usually after work, I go to um, Starbucks and read for like 30 minute ish, but I didn't have a chance to do that today. So, wait, let's look at how she's sleeping. Look, who's here? Maya, look at this Zoom feature. Where are we having Thanksgiving at, Mom? Look at this Zoom feature, Maya. How long have you been asleep, huh? Wow, this is like incredibly close. Okay, have a good night. Look who's awake. I'm not reading, cause I'm watching anime. Hi there. Um, so it's as you can tell, it's nighttime now. I didn't do any reading. My cousins came over. Um, we watched anime. Oh, man, food, food wars. Oh, so good. But yeah, we watched anime, and then now I'm just out here with Bullet to make sure he eats and make sure he runs around a little bit. All right, so this is gonna be the last clip of the day um, because it's about to be nine and I'm just ready to go to read and go to sleep. So I'm ready to upload this and get it ready for tomorrow morning. But also this is on a tripod and I wanted to check like how it looks. Oh my God, you could see my laundry basket. All right, let's move that out the way. But I wanted to check like how this camera looks on a tripod when I'm not moving it and all of that stuff. Um, see how the bokeh looks? It looked from the screen right now. That's pretty fast. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to check the focusing in this and whatnot. Because I also, um, upcoming up, because it's about to be um, Black Friday here in the US. So Black Friday is basically the Friday after Thanksgiving um, here in the United States. And I have been wanting to do the camera recommendation for booktubers for a really long time and I knew that there was gonna be like two times I could have done that video one of the times would have been around May-ish and that's just because around May is when uh, the camera companies around May-ish around like graduation time summer-ish spring around there um, around that time is when a lot of the cameras camera companies introduce their new models so what happens is their older models um, get discontinued and becomes on sales and I knew the other opportunity to do that video was close to Black Friday because once again the um, the camera companies and the stores um, also have deals during that time I'm getting information for that because I'm also waiting to see like what deals the all the stores will have like the major stores and whatnot so I'm gonna I'm, I'm working on that video it's just gonna I know it's gonna take a long time because there's gonna be a lot of research for me to do like pricing wise and whatnot um, but that is one of the videos that I I do want to do let me talk quickly about 4321 so I'm at the halfway point like right away like right there so I'm at the halfway point right now I finally figured out how to edit like vertical videos like edit them on in Premiere Pro and then upload it to snapchat well mainly Instagram and like on Instagram stories and Instagram the videos so check out my um, Instagram because I this I did like a um, a testing talking about like about the midway point of this and a long story short um i am quite enjoying this actually like i'm invested in it at this point like i'm on i'm almost at page like 500 now so at this point i'm really invested in the story and i am really enjoying it there is a part in here that i was shook i was like oh this is how this is how basically this story is going this book it's kind of like a tree so at the bottom we start off with it's mainly a guy named Ferguson. So at the bottom of the tree, like that the root of everything is Ferguson's um, mom and dad history, right? And then it branches into four like branches, like four branches of how Ferguson's life, Archie, that's Archie Ferguson, that's his real name. Archibald Ferguson is his real name. And so we see these four like basically branches going out and each one of them is different like how each story is really different but it's also looking at this point of view of how like these stories are different like what if this happened and what if this happened but then something else happened like within something else you know like mishmashing and whatnot the good thing like, what i really do enjoy about it too is that 
the characters stay the same, unless something happens within them within a story like a timeline. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. The thing though is, I can see why people are put off by this book because it is incredibly long. Like it's incredibly long, and a lot of the time, um, Oster's <laughs> Oster's writing is really long winded. It's it's not even like a long stretch it's kind of like more of a marathon like you're just chugging along and by the end you're just exhausted um and it is intense like when he writes a sentence it is long when he writes a paragraph it is long um but i really do like it i think i noticed this now but i really do enjoy books that are challenging to read um this isn't challenging the way like the phrasing or the words are challenging but just like how long i can keep the stamina of continuously reading like long paragraphs and long chunks of chapters um and i find it challenging in that regard but i i'm quite enjoying it like i i, I kind of like it so far um and i'm really interested because some of the story uh, the way that the stories are diverging and like these different parts i really like it even like the integration of like the sports of it too like granted i don't know what sports is but like even the parts with baseball and basketball i'm quite enjoying it even though i have the time i don't really know what they're talking about but um and i have to look stuff up <laughs> but i know the bases i know the bases um i really like it so i'm gonna keep chugging along and now i've always and now i feel kind of bad like because the I mentioned this in the previous video too, is that um, this readathon has basically been me trying to finish this. So it's like, that's what this readathon is really about, <laughs> me trying to finish this. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, yeah, but other than that, um, I've been enjoying it. Like I always, I always enjoy these daily vlogs. I really do. Um, they take a lot of work, but I quite enjoy them and it's for me it's, as a um like a youtube uh, as a booktuber it always um like in, ignites my love of both photography videography and reading so i really like it and plus i think it was a great opportunity i think it was like a sign also because this i got a new camera and then the readathon happened so it's like daily vlogging so yeah i have also noticed that it's not as big this is granted this is the first year of this readathon um i don't see a lot of people participating in it as like on my timeline as much as i do with the other readathons um but yeah ho hopefully it'll get bigger like as the years go on if mercedes chooses to um continuously do this um but also i want to bring this up because i'm i'm gonna talk about this too in my um my tbr the booktube report video i'm gonna do another one soon because i i've seen a lot of videos like a lot of interesting book two videos so october in uh the uk is um black it's their black history month here in the u.s it's in february but theirs is in october yeah. and i'm kind of sad that i don't see actually not even a lot it's not any like no i don't re i subscribe to a lot of booktubers too and i don't see maybe i've only seen like one um English, like one UK booktuber, um, talk about um, Black History Month in their country, but I, compared to the other ones, um, I haven't seen it, and I don't know if maybe I'm I'm missing it within my um, my feed. So if you have any videos, any booktubers in the UK doing things, maybe something special with Black History Month over there, um, let me know. I would love to watch their video, um, and but I just haven't seen it. Um, there but also i do want to talk about since in speaking of black history month uh Dee, Dee also tr was talking about it on her live video if you saw it yesterday um but she was t thinking about reading not beloved but um tar baby f like as the book for that month because um this year we did it for um bedrock faith with which i did enjoy it was actually like a fun light read compared to something like Tony morrison <laughs> where it's going to be like you know like more intense um so yeah uh i think the choices right well i think 
she's finally gonna settle on Tar Baby because people have said Beloved was gonna be too intense. I now I have always wanted to read Beloved. It is one of those books that I always see on like the great American novel, um, and I haven't read it yet. I've only read like I think I only read like three of Morrison's novels. Yeah, three I think. Um, I haven't read Tar Baby. Um, but I definitely wanted to read more of her works for sure. Go tell Dee Dee which ones you want to read if you want to read Beloved or Tar Baby. I'm per I mean, to me, I don't care. I would read both. <laughs> so, yeah, other than that, I think that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. After this, I'm going to read and then I'll, I'm going to eat, read, upload, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.